Well, welcome everyone. We're so glad to have such a good crowd here tonight. Isn't that good? Amen. Praise yes. God. This is day three of Tabernacles 2020. Amen. Amen. And we have thought all year, 2020, let it be the year when God's people can finally see clearly. Amen. Yes. 2020 vision in 2020 for our spiritual vision. Amen. Amen. We're going to have, speaking for us tonight, Chris Wolf. And I first met Chris uh, probably two and a half, maybe three years ago. We came up here, and uh, Chris was teaching down in Berkeley. And uh, he is, his forte is speaking on health matters. And so I think that you're going to enjoy this. Amen? Yeah. How many of you are interested in your health? Amen. Anybody? Nobody. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I think that we should all be interested in our health, that it would be uh, that we would all have good health. And so I am glad that Chris is here tonight. And boy, he's got a lot of books with him. I tell you what, oh if you could see the stack of books, you don't need to show it, but yeah, it's about this tall. I hope you're not going to read them all to us. We'll be here for three years. Uh, we're, we're really looking forward to hearing from Chris. So uh, without any further ado, Chris, uh, welcome. Everybody make him feel welcome. Amen. Amen. All right. So it's a pleasure being here tonight. I'm a, a health enthusiast, Amen. but it, it didn't come through any choice of mine in the sense of when you, get, when you get hit with problems and challenges, you're going to be searching, and you're going to be seeking, and you're going to be praying. And I was fortunate. I grew up in a, in a family that my father was very active, and we did a lot of things together. We played uh, a lot of sports. Uh, he took us out. He treated us phenomenally well, but I never knew at a young age that I may lose my father at age 25. But I did have friends, and watching them, I saw their dads pass away when I was four, and I was six years old. And that left uh, a note in my mind that it's not a guarantee that your dad's going to live forever. Yeah. And I was fortunate that I had the time with my dad that I did. And who would have ever known? I thought my dad would live till he was in his 90s. I really did. My dad was one of these people that got us up in the morning, and at quarter to six in the morning, and we'd go for a run around the block. It was a perfect All half right. mile, and he took great pleasure in doing that. He would pull us out of bed at quarter to six in the morning. It might be a school day, or it might be during the summer, but he would... He would, he would Take the pleasure, and he would say, misery loves company. <laughs> so, so there was a couple of times he literally took me by the legs and pulled me out of bed because I might have gone to bed kind of late that night. <laughs> so anyways, my dad was the type of person that um, was very friendly, very outgoing, and, you know, we grew up, uh, when we were five years old, we had a motorcycle, grasshopper, Suzuki's, and a snowmobile. He was that engaged in wanting to spend time with his kids and relate with them because he, he works seven days a week in a plastic injection molding. And, and that's what you have to do sometimes when you're an entrepreneur. He was responsible for the people underneath him and he worked diligently in that area. And he had a father who mentored him. And it was during the time of the brokerage business. He, he, he did very well. My, my grandfather was involved with a lot of stuff. He was like a, he was like a catalyst. And, and what I want to say is God has a plan for each and every one of us. Yeah. And when you're a child and you're looking, you look at your dad and you look at your dad as a hero. And most sons look at their dads as heroes. And 
you know, it's, it, it's a wonderful thing. And I think when I was in third grade, I said, I can't wait to be a dad someday. <laughs> but I had to be careful because I was bossing my brother around, and that's not a good way for an older brother to treat his, his younger brother. But, you know, it's through the fear of the Lord and the goodness of the Lord that draws us closer to him, the awe of the Lord. I'll say the awe of the Lord. Now, my dad got me involved with cutting grass. He had a Sears tractor, and he said, Chris, go out there and get some jobs. And so I went out to the neighborhood, and I, I got some lawn jobs. And what I found reflecting back through health and nutrition, sitting on that tractor, not only would I sit there and I was riding around and doing loops, and of course that's fun for kids being on a tractor, but then you're going in this circle and this loop. That tractor would vibrate so much that you know you're 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 getting a. I'd get off that tractor and I felt like I could run. I would felt energized. <laughs> well, you know, I had to still trim around the trees. Now the point is. A lot of people, you see these rebounders out there that people are jumping up and down. Now, we had, a, we had a trampoline in our backyard as well. And what's so important is there's a detoxification that's happening when your body's vibrating. And when it's, whether it's on a tractor or whether it's on a horse or whether it's on a trampoline, you are experiencing what is called the moving of the lymphatic system. Yeah. And that is a very important thing, to have a moving lymphatic system. Uh, walking, doing a lot of walking, you're, you're going up and down. Just doing this little motion here is, is causing a pumping action within the lymphatic system. And that lymphatic system needs to move. If it doesn't move, it stays stagnant. If it stays stagnant, then you're going to have some other, you know, dis-ease. So <clears throat> I... Uh, that that's just a simple example of being a kid, riding my bike, being very active, being in the friend's swimming pool, doing this, doing that. We ran around a lot. And it, it brings to remembrance, um, just a couple years ago, we got involved with this Beratia coffee years ago uh, in 2010. And what's, what's interesting about that um, and again, I'm going to tie all these things together because God directs our steps, and it's not by accident. Yeah, and the young people need to understand this. All of us have been born in this time to do something great, and we need to realize that it's no mistake, the family that we were born into, all the different things. He's molding us and shaping us to touch someone else's life wow. at a particular point in time. And we have no idea how important, and, and God does. God knits this whole thing together. I mean, if we just look at our body, my, my mom would say her father would tell her, there's so much engineering in this thumb. What would, what would your dad say? And now he worked. So there, there's a lot of examples out there. Even the design and the engineering of your ear. How can atheists oh, yeah. say there is no God? How can these scientists that study for years and years and study the human body, we are fearfully and amazingly put together. Amen. The, yeah. the, the, just the whole body system. So that, that should make us think. It should make us think that, you know, there's scripture verses that come to us at different times and you know with a, a lack of knowledge my people perish there there's there's uh, uh, there's another scripture verse that we always look at at Proverbs 8 12 we formed our company around this one it's called I wisdom dwell with prudence and find out knowledge of witty inventions now witty inventions all come from God 
Yeah. When we discover something, we're only discovering what God allowed us to imagine and right. figure out in our brain and see and have a vision. And then all these minds came together and put it together. It's absolutely amazing how a car is even put together. All the engineering that goes into putting that together, because my dad was in plastic injection molding. And I thought, unbelievable. All the orchestration of putting all this together to create a car and we no longer have to go horse and buggy anymore, right? We just, we get in that car and our lives are conveniently, you know, made. Um, but what does that all have to do with health and nutrition? Well, our body, being that it's put together in a special way, should make us, another scripture verse that comes to mind is that work out your salvation with fear and trembling. Yeah. What does that mean? It might mean something a little different to everybody, but it means we need to really seek the Lord in all things. And, then, and the scripture also says, acknowledge him in all your ways, correct? We need to acknowledge God in all our ways. So as God is orchestrating our life in such a way to do something amazing and touch other people's lives, we have to slow down enough to hear what he's trying to say to us, right? You know, and sometimes yeah, it's not easy, right? We're just going, going, and we, we don't always take the time to listen. Now, I was fortunate um, in high school, my, you know, right after my freshman year, before I was in middle school, so I was going into my senior year, I had a chance to listen to Bible radio every morning as I'm sitting down for breakfast and I'm waiting for my dad to go out the door because dad would drop me off at school on the way and I didn't have to go to the bus stop and wait for the bus. It was just, it was a nice way of commuting with my dad to work, you know, yeah. he just dropped me off along the way. And we, we did that a number of times. So sometimes I'd be the first student in the school. <laughs> so um, the nice thing about that was I, I would play a little basketball before school because the gym lights were on and I had a basketball and so I'd go do that a little bit or maybe I'd go and at the time the, the uh, so again it's that quality time that you spend with the with hearing what God's saying to us and realizing all those ministers ministered to me when I was getting ready for school. And I'd hear Jerry Savelli. I'd hear Southwest Radio Church. I might hear, um, oh gosh, um, who's uh, Derek Prince. Derek Prince. And then uh, the Bible. So I, you know, I, I heard these, I heard the word. I got to hear the word. And this is really important because yes. peer pressure yeah. in school is horrible. In fact, God was working on me when I heard all that word. And, you know, they say pack the word in you, get it in your heart, get it in your mind, so that someday, you know, the Holy Spirit will recall it when you need to. to. And I had to pray. I was a slower student than other students because I was a, it's in a little bit of a learning disability, just slower learning. I was a different type of learner, maybe more hands-on learner. So I would call out on the Lord when I was in school. <laughs> I'd say, Lord, help me with this impromptu you know, assignment. But again, God is orchestrating the time. And, and it's very amazing that I did have the time with my dad because during those critical years of going through eighth grade to my senior year, played a lot of golf, a lot of tennis, and my dad was very competitive, and he was tough. You know, they, they say sometimes dads have to toughen you up so that you're prepared for the world. Is that right? And sometimes you hear that? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. My dad was like old school, too, so, I mean, you, you didn't Good miss. <laughs> you know, and that's just what I needed. I, I needed that, but I was, I, was, I was not a guy that got into trouble. Because I, I loved the relationship I had with my dad. Amen. So what does this all have to do with health and nutrition? Well, what it means is I didn't know that I would be faced at a certain point with my dad's health issues. And what I do today reflects around my dad. What, what I'm doing today in health and nutrition, what I'm doing, what I did with my stepdad since, gosh, my dad passed away in 
uh, 91, September 15th, on my, I think it was on my, on his father's birthday, September 15th. And, oh. yeah, um, and then a number of years later, uh, my mom got married to Art Morris, and he had heart problems as well. And here's a person who had the treasury of the heart of America that he was carrying. He read the Federalist Papers. He, he uh, did Bible studies. In fact, we did prison ministry for 19 years together, just one Friday out of the month, the second Friday of the month. And that was a blessing. But his understanding of scripture was phenomenal. He'd get in the Greek, he'd get in the Hebrew, he'd break things down. And it was different than what I was getting at Bible school. It was, but it was, a, it was complimentary. And it was good, and it was a blessing, and it was an answer to prayer. See, when I was at Christ for the Nations, the students would run for lunch right at about 12 noon. The bell rang, and everyone was running across the street to the cafeteria. I went the other way. I went to the field, the track, and I walked around the track, and then I would go out into the woods, and I prayed, and I prayed. I was praying for my family, my brother had the minor form of schizophrenia. It was devastating to our family, Tom's illness. It was, it, it really, when I was a freshman when I went into Oakland University in 1984, and Tom was diagnosed with schizophrenia. Now, you, you look at some of the health books, and it's, it could be a toxicity of the wrong type of copper, it could be a, an imbalance, niacin's needed in the brain. Well, I'm happy to say today that there are people that have schizophrenia, bipolar, a lot of these mental illnesses, they're getting help through nutrition. And yes, they didn't yeah. get it the easy way. They had to search, seek, pray, fast, and they didn't get the answer from the medical profession. The medical profession actually discouraged them. You know what the medical profession told them to do? They said, get over it. He's going to be like this the rest of his life. This is what he, they said to a father who had a manic depressive and a daughter who had bipolar after she gave birth to her first son. You know, it, it didn't happen right away. It was after the birth. And what happens when you give birth to a child? What happens is you, the mother loses minerals out of the body. So the mother needs to remineralize and can't have kids right away. So minerals are extremely, extremely important. There's minerals that help with depression. There's mood stability, all kinds of different things. We should know what minerals do just like we know what the alphabet, putting words together. It's nutrition is one of those things that we need to learn as we're growing up. But what's happened recently is there's a greater awareness of these things. And there's success. There's so much success that Parliament in Canada and um, the court system favored with this family because the Health Canada, which is like the FDA, came in with guns one time and tried to suppress it. Oh and then oh when they got invited to the big meetings, to the big gatherings in the, the field, um, the pharmaceutical industry didn't like it that they were invited because they were having such an impact. People were not suiciding. There was, people would suicide if they didn't get these nutrients and support. It was uh, Stefan, the name was Stefani. Uh, it's called truehope.com. Uh, you can go check that out, incredible testimonies. But my stepdad and I, really looked at that and researched it, and it was phenomenal, it was exciting. But it already confirmed a lot of things that we know about minerals. But going back to our family, back in 1984, we didn't hear about Stefani and True Hope until, oh gosh, it was uh, 2014. So our family had to learn in a different way. Our, tr our journey was different. But still, God was faithful and pulled us through what we needed to, to go through, you know, what we needed to do. But everybody deals with it differently in the family. So for me, I went to Bible school. I wanted to learn about healing, divine healing, 
and supernatural healing. And they did have nutritional support at the school, but I wasn't able to attend those. But God saw it fit that at some point I would. Now I brought a bunch of books because part of those books are a little bit of the journey that I went through and my stepdad as well and mom. We all were kind of in this thing together fighting this battle that a lot of families are today and a lot of families are giving up and they're just oh. handing over everything over to the medical profession, oh. trusting them. Oh. But there are doctors out there that are being called out that are doing it in a more natural, safe, healthier, Amen. practical way, Amen. detoxifying the body. We still got a lot of work to do with Tom, you know, and it, it takes a team of people to really, you know, do, but he's doing far better. He's doing really well. In fact, when Tom was diagnosed, he went to various different hospitals and a lot of the medication just put him on the floor. He was sleeping on the floor at different places. They didn't have to do any administrative thing because he was totally out. A lot of times he just, one time I took, a, I had Tom read in the waiting room. I was, they wouldn't even want me to do that because I was recording it, just, you know, just recording as he was reading. But the point is, there was very low maintenance when they give you a lot of medication. That means they sleep, right. And so there's a lot of answers. I call it spokes to the wheel. There's a lot of different spokes to helping in the healing process. Now, I think minerals are foundational because you have people like Linus Pauling who won two Nobel Prizes in chemistry. He's also known as the vitamin C guru. He's, he's also talked about um, energy medicine, which is frequency. And I did bring a device today that helps with blood flow. So I'm just going to read one of his quotes. He says, you can trace every sickness, every disease, and every ailment to a mineral deficiency. Mm. That's Linus Pauling. A uh, scientist who won two Nobel Prizes in chemistry. Now, um, I wanted to share with you, every family has its challenges. But every child needs to know, and every young adult, and every, you know, every, every individual, but especially the kids, because they're being hammered, you know, with a lot of bad information. Oh, yeah through society. Yeah. You are special. You do have a call to do something great. God has something for you to do, and we all got to find it. For me, it, it was natural for me to go into health and nutrition. Um, I, I was in good health. I, um, I feel the responsibility. We are our brother's keeper, correct? You know, I mean, the scriptures say that, right? So that, that's kind of sobering all by itself of another good reason why we should be helping one another through health. Art told me about how he overcame his diabetes by changing his eating habits and taking supplements. Yeah. And I think that's phenomenal. And that's a message, Art, that needs to get out there and, and people need to be encouraged. Every one of us should be pursuing or learning something Every day, whether it's on YouTube or whatever, it's really, do you, do you realize I was reading some things out of this book here, and I, I need to do more reading out of this book here, and then I got Elements, Trace Elements, and Human Health. This is, he's quoted in a lot of these quotes pertaining to the importance of minerals. But there's people that are throwing up after they eat, and so, you know, there's certain minerals that help with that. There's, there's a, you know, all these minerals have specific purposes, just like every organ in our body, the flesh, all the different, the muscle components, all these things, they're, they're key and crucial. But we need to encourage each other. I want to show you one, this is, this is deviating a little bit, but uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to send these around. Um, our house was hit by lightning in 1976. We were at Cedar Point. 
God saw it fit that we weren't in the house at that time. Well, that's good. I was about, a, I was about uh, 10 years old. Fire Let's see. Code. Yeah, there we go. There, here's the one. <laughs> so that's my room right there wow. in that place. The, where you see the most intense fire, that's my room. So you think when I was cutting grass and I would have all the time in the world to be thinking and meditating. I could meditate on nature and the things and why why am i here i could have been killed in that fire my brother and i would have probably been electrocuted because the 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 wires went down the wall and the wall our bed was right next to the wall (laughs) so so you know that's a reason for waiting on the lord for a lot of things and when you when you feel that now i I, I think, and then I'm going to send this around. This is a, that's my dad's business, and you'll see my dad right here. And I'm just going to mention this only because that's my dad right there. Okay. And um, now, why am I mentioning it? Well, this is my why of why I'm into health and nutrition. And... I was a little bit shy and a bit of a slower learner than some of the other kids, but I was, what the counselor said, a deep thinker. Now, if you're a deep thinker, you're going to contemplate. And do you think if a deep thinker is going to think about God, he's going to go deep? (laughs) (laughs) But again, this is all very, you know, another thing that was very important my dad was a success motivation type person. He listened and read success motivation. Now, I wish my dad read scripture because that was not his area of, it was one of the weak areas, Pastor, for my dad. But I was with my dad when I got my first Bible, and that was at an acupuncture's office. And Reagan was in office at that time, so that tells you I was about 17 years old, right around that time. Uh, No, it was actually when I was in junior high, so that was about ninth grade. So um, we are what we think. If we meditate on good things, then we are going to do great. And if we do, America is great because America is good. You've heard that quote before, Right. right? And when good men and women do nothing, evil prevails. So we were at Cedar Point, just uh, our vacation started. I think that was on a Friday night. A lot of the neighbors thought the electricity hit their house, and some of the neighbors thought their house was on fire at about 4.30 to 5 o'clock in the morning. So anyways, that's, that's a little bit of, you know, when... Again, when you've been spared this, and my dad and mom were spared losing two sons in a fire. Praise God. And, and then again, I was spared from not having schizophrenia, but in a way we're all responsible and feel like we need to do what we can to help. Now, when we hear something that is good, just, pure, honest, of good report, we think on those things, right? Well, that's what we're supposed to do so a lot of a lot of girls today are suffering from um they're they're either concerned about their weight and some are what having dis eating disorders and so what is it bulimia and what's the other one Uh, and anorexia anorexia well there's minerals that help with those things too but also healing and being on God's word. All those things are extremely important. So I'm just going to, I'm going to touch on a couple of things here. Um, I have my mom on a lot of minerals. Um, she's, I, you know, and that's, that's a, a blessing. I have this chart here, and I, I'm going to put it up here, but I don't know if it's going to hold because it's a flip chart. Okay. So... Uh, I'm going to flip it really quick. You know, I could bring that chair over there. That probably 
would work, would it? Okay, I'll get the chair. Okay. <laughs> now, I, I got a zero-gravity chair over there, and that's for the device. Anyone who wants to get on the Beamer later tonight, uh, or, or not too much late, we won't be here that late, but, but um, we can, uh, we can, this, the Beamer goes on this, and people can tilt back and we can just sit. But, um, oh, the, I'm going to tell you a little bit more about the Beamer later tonight. But um, that helps with blood flow. And uh, blood flow is important because if you don't have blood flow, uh, you're not going to get oxygen and nutrients and, um, and waste removal out of your trillions of cells. You know that the heart only does 20, about 26 percent of your blood circulation through your, you know, the big artery walls, you know, the, the um, and your capillaries, which are feeding your toes, the ends of your fingers, all through your body, all through your brain. You should see what it looks like. I'll have to send you some pictures by email. But those are, if you take your hair and you look at it, you, your, some of these capillaries are a fraction, a fraction of your hair. And, and blood is being pumped through that. And it's, it's being, it's collapsing and contracting. And so all your trillions of cells, if it doesn't get oxygen, it's going to suffocate just like we suffocate. So think about it. every cell in your body is just like you as a person. It, it, it's got a, a nucleus and it's going to, it needs to be fed oxygen, it needs to be fed nutrients, and then it needs to get rid of it. Just like we have a digestive system and a, and a colon, and you know we take in nutrients and then we get rid of it. So um, anyways, I'm gonna show you that a little bit later. But if you could have all the good circulation in the world, but if you don't have nutrients, the right nutrients also feeding those cells and helping you uh, repair, recover. Minerals do a lot of different things. They also help get rid of heavy metals in the body. And that's key. There's a lot of landmines out there where a lot of young couples are, you know, they're, they're planning on having a baby and, and there's uh, vaccines out there that have some people believe and I, I'm one of them, that you have mercury, you have a thimerosal, aluminum, formaldehyde. Now, when you think about it, that's a child, and the amount of, you know, they, their weight compared to our human weight, we might be able to take a, a vaccine, but that poor little baby might not be able to handle the load, and then there's a big lineup of vaccines after that. There's so many different vaccines, but there, a lot of people have seen learning disabilities, attention deficit disorders, all these different disorders. Minerals help with those things too. They help with focus, with brain health, with um, being uh, depression or anxiety. But these toxins that our body receives, what happens is it affects your digestive system. Yeah. It affects your intake of nutrient. If you don't have a good working colon, your brain is not going to be fed the nutrients. A lot of these kids are starving. Their nutrients to the brain are not getting there because the digestive system has been compromised through the heavy metals. Now, it's, it's another landmine out there besides... You know, we, we have a lot of different landmines out there. <laughs> so um, I'm going to flip through this a little bit, but the problem that we have in America is pretty intense. It's very severe. Do you realize that we're not even following a lot of the farming practices in America right now from a biblical standpoint? We're not... What's needed? I had a friend. Yeah, well, that would be good. <laughs> that would be great. So we're just going to take a few minutes with this. Thank you, Ken. Thank you, Pastor Ken. I had a friend last summer who was doing gardening. And his backyard, he, he's a 
gardening enthusiast. But he was working with clay, and so when he did a lot of the reading and research, he had to put something to activate that clay. It was like a, um, what do you call it? Like a pro, you know, like probiotics? Well, this, I forgot what they call it, microbes. There were, there's another name for it. Shoot, I'm, I can't think of it right now. But anyways, so Ken, I think we could put it right here maybe for a second. Uh, maybe not too much weight. No. Okay. So it, nature's blueprint for markers. nutrition, sun, photosynthesis, rain, bacteria, and root structure. So the sun, the rain, the soil, the bacteria, and the plant root structure combine to produce one of nature's miracles, the conversion of rock particles into minerals that are bioavailable for both the plants and people. So nature's blueprint for nutrition, elemental, water soluble, cell ready. So the plants are working to take in a lot of the minerals and nutrients, which is what we're used to eating. But if the soil is in bad health, then it's blocked and it can't uptake a lot of these minerals. Therefore, a lot of our vegetables that we're eating are not feeding us. There's a lot of science in the soil that's just amazing. So it becomes clearly evident that keeping a mineral balance in every tissue, fluid, cell, and organ in the human body is key to maintaining human health. That's minerals, trace elements, and the human health. And that's in 1999. Your mineral needs are even more important than your vitamin needs since the human body cannot make minerals. Does everyone here realize that even if you take in vitamins, if you don't have minerals, the vitamins are useless? They're just useless. Mm -hmm. You gotta have the minerals in order for those vitamins to work effectively. In the absence of minerals, vitamins have no function. That's Dr. Manik Rath. Um, every sickness can be traced to a mineral deficiency. Scientific study has shown minerals are absolutely essential to life on this planet. Dr. Alexander Scrub, I have his work there. That's, uh, I put this over really quick. And then, has anyone heard about this report from the 74th Congress, session two? This was in 1936, and it said that um, this, was a con this was held. They had farmers, doctors, biologists, um, agriculture, 99% of American people are deficient in minerals and a marked deficiency in any one of these more important minerals actually results in disease. The alarming fact is that foods, fruits, vegetables, and grains now being raised on millions of acres of land no longer contains enough certain needed minerals and are starving us no matter how much of them we're eating. So. You think we're, we got some problems here in America. There's a scripture verse that comes to me. Unjust weights and balances are an abomination to God. That applies to our money system. But how much more our agricultural system? We are really devaluing our health greatly when we ignore a lot of God's principles. Nature has been ambushed 100 bushels. Kansas wheat, 1926. Here it took a thousand bushels, Kansas, 1968. Okay, so Dr. William A. Albright. Albright, thank you. The head of the agricultural department in the University of Missouri tested a hundred bushels of Kansas wheat for mineral content. In 1968, 42 years later, he tested the wheat from the same farm to get the same amount of mineral content oh it took in a thousand bushels. Oh my. Ten times. Ten times. Wow. All right, so. That's awful. Yeah, it's unbelievable. Nature has been ambushed. Okay, so in North America, farmlands are the worst in the world. We have a deficiency of over 80%. This is the 1992 Earth Summit statistics. Here you got South America, Asia, Africa, they're all bad. I mean, these are probably commercial 
uh, farms, and um, we're getting most of our food off commercial farms, like most Americans. Um, the average American, over 14 mineral deficiencies. The longer I work with the soil chemistry, the more I know our poorly mineralized food is robbing people of life. Oh my. And then we have the issue, oh, we were talking, sorry, thanks, Ken. <laughs> All right. Human body requires consistent fueling. Where can we turn for help? Okay, we got fast food, no. <laughs> Processed snacks, no. Refreshments, no. Overcome, okay, outcome. People are seeking a solution. Yeah. And achieve, they want to achieve maximum mineral nutrition. So here we're coming to the conclusion of this and sales and nutrition supplements. This is 1970 and here's 2000. This is a, an older version here. And they're skyrocketing, they're going right up. But it says 40, let's see, 40, 40, 40 million. million pounds of aspirin is consumed yearly. Americans lead the world in heart disease. 58% of children fail fitness tests. It's a lot higher probably. 40% of bankruptcies are caused by medical bills. Whoa. In uh, Tacoma, Washington, a quarter of a million pounds of undigested vitamins, mineral pills, are pulled out of the sewers every six weeks. Some of them oh, brand goodness. names still um, readable. readable. <laughs> I have one contact and one eye and one. So it helps me with my farsighted and my nearsightedness. <laughs> Whatever nutritional potential of a supplement, its contribution is non-existent if it does not pass the test of absorption. Right. Yeah. Vitamins and minerals in pill form are only 10% absorbed by the body. Remember, according to nature's blueprint, our bodies are looking for proper mineral nutrition. Elemental, water-soluble, and cell-ready. When we say cell-ready, uh, that goes into the blood immediately, and then the blood is feeding your cells immediately as well. Okay, this is, uh, this is just one company that I was working with, but I want to explain the best of science in nature. Touched by man, perfected by nature. By duplicating the intricate process of nature, the Aneva Corporation provides mineral nutrition and natural design. Elemental, water soluble, cell ready. So here, um, one of the things in the 90s, I had the opportunity when my stepdad was suffering with his heart problems in 95, someone gave us a tape on um, Joe Wallach, Dead Doctors Don't Lie. And it's a fascinating, you can find it. Yeah, dead doctors don't lie. So a lot of doctors were dying in their late 40s, some, and in their late 50s. Why? Well, they're not taking, they, they give advice to all of us, but they're not taking their own advice, or we don't have a drug deficiency, and they don't look to nutrition as an answer. And they're not taught in medical school to study nutrition. Yeah. So the answer's not there. What comes to mind for all of us? Well, pride comes before a fall. If we don't walk humbly before God Amen. and call out on his name and follow his ways, then we're going to miss God's perfect plan for our life, aren't we? And, and so the young people, we need to know this because they're going to be the leaders of the future. So we need to, to help and point in the right direction. So here's tablets and chelated minerals. They're not actually getting into the cell. So this is the outer perimeter. They might get into the blood, but maybe they're not making it into the cell. They're not making the cell. Colloidal minerals, same problem. Solatomic, it's, a, it's like a crystal. If the water dries, it's bonded to the water molecule. But if it dries, then it's just a crystal. But if you have something sustained by protein or and it's in a colloidal form sometimes, or in a chelate, then it, it's in its same form that it was found in. So it's still, it, hasn't, it isn't being used. So I'm gonna explain that a little bit more. Water is compatible with more substances than any known solvent, and therefore it is the ideal medium for transporting nutrients into cells 
for chemical reactions of the cellular metabolism to take place. Easily consumed, no digestion required, immediately bioavailable, maximum effectiveness. So I'm going to share a few stories here. I think we're almost done with them. We are, oh yeah, this is the last part here, which ties it kind of together. Say we're on a construction site, okay? Can you all see this? You got boots here, you got tools here. But, you know, on a construction site, you're going to have a general contractor, right? That's the guy with the hard hat. He's given all the orders. He's telling the crew where to work, and he's telling where to move the, the supplies and the, the wood, the lumber, all the... So you got uh, vitamins. Vitamins are the general contractor. Enzymes equal the crew and the workers. And then you have the minerals, which equals the building materials. That's the, you know, the, the cement, that's the, the lumber, the shingles, the whole thing. So here we, uh, you know, the general contractor could also be the architect or someone that's reading the architect. So anyways, if the built, no, I think that's good, Ken. I think we don't need to hold it any, well, we got one more. <laughs> so, <laughs> if the building supplies don't show up, what are the crew and the workers and the general contractor going to do? They're going to do nothing. They can't do nothing unless they have the building materials. So minerals <coughs> are the foundational part. Enzymes are a catalyst. They bring everything together and then they change it for a purpose. So at the last part here, and thank you so much, Pastor Ken, for holding this for me. Each person body has its own unique mineral landscape. Holes deficiency, these are holes, the deficiency, bumps and toxicities. And then you have ideal health up here. Uh, it could be poor sleep, low energy, aches and pains, peak performance, not getting. Uh, Aniva's bioavailable solution technology helps in filling in and smoothing out these imperfections. That's great. Thank you so much. Okay. So I, I wanted to use that because I had it available, and it, and it kind of explained the story for me. Um, a side note, um, I have been involved with Aniva for close to 20 years, and we've been taking it. So it, it is working, and I, I'm, I'm happy to report that what I've learned is when you hear a story or a testimony, that gets you excited. When I did a paper on Christianity, when I was in college, my freshman year, I had the choice. I could have done it on witchcraft. I could have done it on all the different subjects that they had. But I wanted to do it on Christianity. I wanted, uh, because I was involved with Campus Crusade for Christ, they had something called Evidence That Demands a Verdict. And so that was one of the books that I read in this, this paper that I did. And I kept reading books and reviewing things. I had a fun time, and the teacher recognized that this was changing my life. Now, what's the most important thing when you're in a college setting with all your other peers? Well, there's peer pressure. And those professors, they want to conform you into their image, right? Yeah, yeah it's the problem with America right now. We have too many kids out there that are very confused, and they don't understand what a great country that we live in. And they've been fed some other story and confused. But... Um, I have to figure out where I was going with that for a second. <laughs> That's what I thought. <laughs> it's very important that you have that conviction to stand on. I, I, could, I could stand on my parents' faith, but peer pressure usually will shake you off your parents' faith. You got to know yourself. You have to be beyond a shadow of a doubt, know what you are doing and know why. And when I was at Oakland University, I became stronger and stronger in the Lord because I fed myself things from above, not earthly things. Although God was working on my heart at that time and directing me towards Christ for the nations. During that time at the uh, Oakland University, we were suffering as a family. It was a tough time for our family. And so, um, but God got us through it 
And my pursuit was on health and healing, and it took me to Christ for the Nation. So I was at Oakland University for about three years, and that's the direction. Now, what got me excited was testimonies, hearing testimonies Amen. and hearing the evidence and the result, like Art. Art, you are an overcomer of diabetes. It no longer controls you. You control Amen. the situation because you control what goes into your mouth, but you understand the, the challenges and you know what to do. So you helped your body by giving yourself nutrition that helped kept your sugar levels stable. And so it's really important to listen to your body, but it's also very important to have knowledge and you got the knowledge so you yeah. found an answer to prayer to your situation and you, you experienced good health and wellness today. Well, that's what we, you know, that's what brings people to church too, is hearing a testimony of their lives being changed. A message that your life counts and has purpose and that God wants to be involved with you, that God is walking with you. What's the difference between a person who reads Psalms 23, who knows and has a personal relationship with God, and someone who just can read good poetry and is a good poetry reader. One has had a relationship with God and the other one is just a good reader of poetry. So the one that had the relationship with God, he might read it, weeping and thanking his God, realizing how God got him through uh, because he realizes that God is his shepherd. When it comes to health and nutrition and you see a loved one being rescued out of a situation, that's a huge relief. When you see someone like my dad, we saw him go through the situation at U of M, six weeks of radiation therapy. It was a two year process of his journey through that you know, medical situation. Um, I don't know how much time I have, but <laughs> I'm trying to be a little careful. I <laughs> <laughs> but to to explain what our family went through was it was a rough situation. Losing your dad, I felt yeah. it was like I felt God. What's going on? What happened? You know, I mean. You know, I, I went to a school and I've heard all these stories of people that had divine healing and miraculous healings in different ways. But people don't always get that. But it's not in vain. It's not, we are, we are in a world that is a fallen world. And it's, we are um, in a world that it's um, like, um, we have strongholds, we have situations that we have to recognize and pray and go, you know, ask for God's direction and intervention. And what I learned is that God is faithful, he does answer your prayers, and even if you lose a loved one, that there's a plan behind that. There's redemption, there's heaven, and I'm, I'm thankful. My dad's, you know, I mean, he's in a new body right now. So I, I've got these books here, and I'm just going to say a few brief things about each of these books, just real brief, and some of them I won't say nothing at all, but I'll just show something. Well, that's a good book. This Sorry. one here, you're familiar with this. Yeah, that's great. Now, now what, what I want to say about this, this is Nourishing Traditions, Healthy Traditional Networks by Sally Feldon. And this was part of our journey with my stepdad, and my stepdad did so many health lectures every Monday. I mean, it was fun. I mean, he was a reader. I mean, he did a lot of reading. I, I, I'm not that type of reader, but I need to be. And you guys need to pray for me because I know that it's through reading that can, you can touch other people's lives because of the, the information. But all diseases start in your colon. So, you know, if you can, if you can change that bad bacteria into good bacteria, that is really important. So creating, a lot of the farmers, they had all these shelves, shelves. What did they do? They fermented food. Every culture around the world ferments food. What, uh, there's a dentist. 
Um, I don't have his book right here, but it's what inspired Sally Feldon. He studied the teeth. He noticed in Western culture the teeth rotted faster. They went narrow. They weren't big and full. If you look in some of the African countries that are not touched by Western medicine, they have these pearly, beautiful teeth, and, it, and it's <laughs> big, round faces. And when we are in Western you know, uh, culture, all this processed food, faces are getting narrower. People can't have babies. Uh, they have to do cesarean section. What, and what is the cesarean section? Um, what, are, what are moms losing? Well, when a baby goes through the birth canal, it compresses the spine and makes a bigger difference. It also releases a hormone in the mom that prepares her for motherhood, even in a greater way. It's part of God's natural you know, plan. But because of the processed foods, the sugars, uh, women are not developing properly, and some of them are not, not prepared you know, for the childbirth because they had to do cesarean section. My sister had three of them. And um, my, my sister did go on a strong mineral nutrients, um, and she ended up having twin boys, which was a great blessing. And I'm so grateful she did because those boys are very healthy. And uh, I'd like to say more, but I'm on camera, so I better not. <laughs> but <laughs> anyways, um, alkalis or die. That's another big thing. You all, do you know that all cancer patients are acidic? What does that mean? Well, potassium is alkaline forming. Uh, calcium, magnesium, sodium, silica all alkalizing minerals. Mom, was this a book that you read during the time when dad was yeah, ill? Before. Okay, before? So my, my parents did a lot of reading even before my dad, and he did change his eating habits, but it wasn't enough. He needed, he needed more minerals and nutrients. And you should see what we learned and how minerals made a difference and saved lives. It is absolutely amazing. It's a subject I'll have to cover another time, not right now, but um, just phenomenal. Um, and I'm gonna provide some things and resources here for you. So this is just a catalyst to get you excited yeah. about looking into it and taking a little time out because you know this is the process. Remember, whatever's pure, good, of good report, think on these things. It's yeah. life-saving, yeah. killing cancer. Uh, this is Jason Winter's story. There's so many stories out there. Show Vibrant the, way to help. The okay. And uh, Vibrant Health, a natural way to Vibrant Health. Um, this is um, Dr. Walker. That's N.W. Walker. He's, he's, uh, we carried his books on colon health. And he does one on juicing. Um, oh, yeah. and, and, and all those things are important. I want to tell yeah. you all that we would get feedback from our own members. We had an association called Nutritional Biobalance Association, and we had people that got excited about coming to our meetings because my dad did the dark field microscopy. You'd look at people's blood under the microscope. And they picked up, he was at a health food store, one of our friends, he, he handles all the audio and video for my dad, and uh, he worked at Channel 4. And um, he was at uh, Good Food when that store was open. And uh, he was walking down the aisle, and this book caught his attention. It was called um, Andre Moritz's book on um, the ultimate way to, well, let's see. It was on uh, your gallbladder. I can't remember the name of it. Can you remember the name of the book, Mom? But it was doing a uh, healthy gallbladder flush. And oh, yeah. do you know, I, I, am, I got involved with doing that, and I made it a science project. And my stepdad, <laughs> my, I, you know, I want to call him dad, but I don't want you to get confused. He was shocked at how serious I took it. Now, he, uh, he did so much reading and, and had so many reference books that he looked at. And... I'll tell you, this, this book right here is uh, good for everyone to go through. And I'll, I'll see if I can get you guys a resource so that you can 
lucky I didn't study it. But um, this book here on sol it's Solutomic Minerals, Information and Reference Guide. By Annette. Yeah, Annette has a loan. That's a, that's a good book, but you can find a lot of other books on minerals and nutrients. But it's the delivery system that makes all the difference. The, I brought a few things that I was going to show you, but when we take minerals, we take it in a liquid form, and it's going into the body, and it's being used immediately. And we would, we would take someone's blood when we, did, we gave them calcium, magnesium, and we would watch on the blood slide, because he would take his blood again right after he took it, and it would show the blood cells separating. And it would show them not glued together, which a lot of people are stressed. All the blood cells would be all stuck together like pancakes instead of nice and round and looking aerated and healthy. And um, what minerals do, like zinc, when you take zinc, you can feel it going right to your throat. Zinc is good for the eyes. It's good for the, the liquid of um, your fluids, your saliva. Oh, I've got to hold on to these. <laughs> Don't let them fall off the table. Um, but zinc is, when my stepdad was working way too hard and pushing it because he was a type A personality, he'd start sneezing. i give him zinc. And he'd stop sneezing. I mean, literally stop sneezing. He would sneeze, 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 sneeze. And I'd say, whoa, 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 whoa. I'm going to go get the zinc. Get the zinc quick. we get the zinc, give it to him, and it would stop just like that. Wow. Zinc has a number of different functions in the body. Every mineral has very distinct. Just like we are all a part of the body of Christ, we all have a function in the body of Christ. Just like every member of our body has different functions and one member can't do what the other member can do because they're called to do one thing. Minerals are so essential. If I took the time to read a couple of these, you know, you, you'd get an idea. And maybe after the camera's off, maybe we'll talk about it a little bit. But um, calcium, magnesium, and potassium um, highly alkalining. Like I said, cancer, all cancer patients are acidic. Why are they acidic? Well, most cancer patients, if you look at their life before, something traumatic happened in their life. Something dramatic. Uh, there could be unforgiveness. It could have been a human tragedy of some sort in their life that just shook them. Um, anger, disappointment, any one of those things, resent any one of those things. Even it says, be careful that a bitter root does not come up within you. Those are, if you're under a lot of stress, that can make you acidic. So when you, when you see someone that has cancer, they need not only to laugh, they need to get the joy and the peace in their life. That is so critically important. Yeah. They need to have a positive outlook in life. And then they need minerals to help them detoxify because um, even, even someone who's got a lot of, uh, like fat, fat is hiding or, or is, your body's protecting itself from toxins. So we studied this not too long ago. And so if, Minerals can help chelate those toxins out, and you can watch some of the, the fat come off. Uh, chromium is so key as well. A lot of diabetics are overweight. Chromium, taking it before a meal. Vanadium works really very effectively. Not chromium picolinate, but a pure chromium. Very important. We got to work on my brother with that. We got to work on him because... He's, he's got all these cravings for the sweets and the sugars. and the, not, He doesn't eat cookies. He doesn't eat brownies. It's the pop. But what's in that pop? You have high fructose corn syrup. High fructose bad, corn syrup, bad, bad. you can't digest that. A lot of the corn products are hard. Even eating corn, you can't digest corn very well. 
So, I mean, sometimes you can see it come right out at the end, you know, I mean, <laughs> so, and uh, some of it's genetically modified too, you know, you got to make sure you get organic corn, so uh, if you're going to have corn, but um, silica is also known as the beauty mineral. It helps with the nails, the hair, it helps with energy, it helps with alkalinity, it makes all the other minerals work even more effectively too. But you take silica separately. And most time you see silica, it's with aluminum, but it'll pull aluminum out of the body too. So Aniva has it in a separate form. So if you can get it in a separate form, that's great because a lot of times you know, it's, it's important to chelate those toxins you got cadmium is in smoke, you know, the s cigarettes, you got cadmium in there, you got it in. Well, anyways, I, I want to, I need to kind of wrap this up, but if anyone has a question or if they want to, you know, something specific, I do want to say something which is going to have to be edited off the camera. Yeah, we could ask the questions after you're done. That's perfect, because yeah. there's, there's a little bit more I want to share on a personal level. Um, that's fascinating due to this time that we're in. Um, so like gold, gold is a, it helps with sleep. It helps with brain function, helps, um, gold? the mineral gold in a okay. liquid form and, a and, uh, bonded to the water molecule, bonded to the water. <laughs> now this, this is just like silver, not colloidal silver, but monoatomic silver, monoatomic gold. It is carried by the water molecule. So gold helps with inflammation and, and it's a natural antidepressor. I need more yeah, gold. Yeah. <laughs> I think everybody in the United States needs it, right? <laughs> so, you know, that it, you know, I think you'd be fascinated to know that there's hope, right? We need to be encouraged as a people that there is hope. And where should they find that answer? They should find that answer in the church, right? And, and you know, and it's, it's the Lord that's giving it. So that answer should be found first in the church. So there's, there's a lot of hope and encouragement that I want to just share with you that um, God is doing some amazing things. And so, you know, this is a good time because more things are being revealed. And whatever is done in private will be shouted from the rooftops. So, you know, a lot of these researchers, some stuff has gotten buried. Some good information has gotten buried and it needs to come out. So, I mean, we need to keep praying that people have a desire to be their brother's keeper, encourage one another. And you know what? I think with Trump in a second term, I think we're gonna see a lot of breakthroughs in the medical profession. And the last thing I wanna say, just like Moses said, let my people go. Yeah. There are two revolutions that are right at our doorstep. That is energy revolution, where we see other alternatives besides wind, solar, and fossil fuel, but other technologies using whether it's water replacing gasoline and also uh, special magnetic where they're using um, the components in the north and the south pole of the, matic, in the, in the magnetic field. And there's so much has been kept back from the people, witty inventions. And then the other thing is energy, uh, health freedom. And that is let my people go. Yes. We need to be released and these, these cures and technology need to get to the people so that the people can experience freedom, not bondage, not the bail system, but what God always intended for his people and that is divine health and knowledge and discretion so that they can understand what to do. It, knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. We need to have that all together so that we can experience God's Amen. true purpose in our lives. Amen. Thank you very much. Amen.